husband suggested to hide the Mill Dam Conservation Park because of the water and birds there, and it is close to our home. We are surprised to see some new points of interest, such as the newly constructed Mill Creek Bridge and the less than one year old Mill Dam Bridge. This is the largest park in Markham. We find a few good spots for photography and videography. What a hidden gem! With 305 acres of park and trails and the Root River in the middle of the conservation park. And you can see a dam over a viewing bridge. There are lots of benches and picnic tables, and a beach, but no swimming there. We start strolling along the shoreline. From this viewing deck, you can see some Canada geese. and the calm and serene pond sceneries. They remind us to enjoy summer while it is here because it will be over soon. We keep walking along the trail, past some woodlands and wetlands and enjoy some beautiful flowers along the Root River. We see a beautiful blue heron and is taking its flight. We have a little break in this shaded area. From here, you have to walk 600 meters to see the Mill Dam. This is the newly constructed Mill Creek Bridge. It is 58 meters long. And you keep walking. Gradually, you will see the second bridge, the Mill Dam Bridge. It was officially opened on September 21st, 2019. From the observation platform of this bridge, you can see the waters of the Root River flow over the 10 feet high Mill Dam. The Toronto Regional Conservation Authority replaced the previous dam in 1973. As part of a master flood control plan, and created Mill Dam Conservation Area. The orange flows collect debris and prevent it from going over the dam. This area was home to the first concrete and steel dam in Canada, built in 1911. We then walk down to the base of the bridge. This bridge stands at 30 meters above the river. It was built in sections off-site and brought into the area, ready to be installed. It is 142 meters long. We have lots of fun trying to film underneath this new dam bridge. Here we go again. This iron bridge will take you to Markham Road. We decide to go back to the parking lot from here onwards.
This park is also great for cycling. It is great to see a very handy public bike repair station with tools and air pump. We are back to the huge fields and the well-kept park area. We happily drive back home after three hours of hiking.